Hi guys, welcome to my channel, it's Elena here. Um, this is my second video, it's a video creating this eye look. I already done my face because it's the same as last week's video. Um, so just creating this eye look, it's a lovely pink eye look using the two new palettes from the Winter Collection from Kylie, the Naughty and the Nice palette. So if you want to see how I created this look, keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe to the... Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video as well. Today I'm going to be filming with the the Naughty and the Nice palette from Kylie. Um, my boyfriend got me these for Christmas, he bought me the holiday bundle. He bought me the holiday bundle last year as well, so now it's kind of a tradition. So yeah, I'm going to be using those today because apart from I think I've dipped into the Nice palette once and only a few shades, I haven't really used them yet because I haven't had an excuse to, so now I do. Um, also, I was meant to be trying out the Zoeva brushes for the first time. They look like they've been used and the funny story is that I started filming about 20 minutes ago, didn't like the way the look went, so I started again, now I'm starting again, so I promise this is still like a first impression of these guys because I've only used them literally about 20 minutes ago and so far it's not going well, so maybe it's the brushes, I'm not sure, but I'm going to give them another go and we're just going to start again. Um, so I've already primed my lids using the Tarte Shape Tape, just blended that in, we're going to give it a good go. So for a transition colour, I think I'm going to use this shade here which is called Santa Baby and we're going to be using the 227 brush. I've got to work later so I'm not going to be going crazy with this look, I'm going to try and do like a nice neutral pink kind of look. Okay, just a nice neutral trans transition colour there for you. I did the same thing earlier so I didn't think I needed to wash the brush because it's the same sort of colour. I'm not going to use this brush because it's gone green and I don't plan on using green now because I just had a horrible experience with it. Um, so I won't be using this one. Try a different one. We'll use a similar sort of brush. Okay, for a nice little crease brush. I'm going to be using this 101 brush from BH Cosmetics. Just a little fluffy brush. I'm going to be going into the shade called Macaroon from the Nice palette. It's just a nice pinky beigey colour. Oh, this brush feels lovely. It's very soft. Yep, I think that'll do. To deepen things up a little bit, I'm going to be using the shade called Unwrap Me, that nice little purple there. I'm just going to bring it a little bit lower down. Hmm, maybe I will use this brush if I just probably blow it. <sighs> Wipe it off a little bit. Like, you can't even tell there was green on it before, you're fine. Ooh, that shade's pigmented. Oh wow, I actually only just tapped in a little bit. I tried to cover my brush because of the green, but I only tapped in a little bit and I tapped it off and it's very pigmented.
Yep, okay, I think that's all we really need to do for the outer area. I'm gonna go straight to the lid now. Um, I'm going to use, let's use a new brush. This little brush from Zoeva, it's the 234 Luxe Smoky Shader, but it's quite flat, so I'm gonna use it just on my lid. For the nice palette, I'm gonna be using this beautiful shade. It's called Gumdrop. It's like a pinky with like gold reflex in, but it's really, really nice. Love it. I'm just gonna coat my brush in that. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, and then to just buff in the like, edge there, I'm just gonna use this brush again. And just, not even adding any color, just using the brush. Lovely. I'm using more of a tapping motion now rather than like a sweep and then that stops the fallout as much. Okay. Yeah, that looks really good. Now for some liner. Okay, so today for eyeliner, I'm just going to be using the little Maybelline little gel pot in shade O1 Black. Hmm. Yeah. And I'm going to be using, I've never used one of these little shaped eyeliner brushes before. This is the 315 Fine Liner Brush from Zoeva. I mean, I get it, but I don't. Oh, I don't even know if I like that already. It's really hard. We turned out okay there. But I just don't know if I'll be using this brush again. Okay, not too bad, it was just a bit more difficult than maybe using like an angled liner brush kind of thing and they don't look very alike, <laughs> but they look okay. Okay, I'm going to pop off and pop off, uh, pop on some lashes but I'm going to do it off camera because I'm really 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 bad at doing lashes and you don't want to see me going like blah 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 blah. So, I'm going to be using this Duo Adhesive by Ardell. And the lashes I'm going to use. Okay, for lashes, I'm going to be using these unicorn lashes. Um, they're in the shade Rebel Smoke. I love them. They come in better packaging than this. It's like a little unicorn, but I don't know where I put that. Um, but I'm going to be using ones that I've already cut down and stuff. So be right back. I love these. They're so nice and fluffy. Okay, I'm just gonna pop on some mascara to my lower lash line. Does anyone else have like a really stupid face for lower lash line? You got noisy, didn't it? Okay, I'm just gonna now do some smoking out of the lower lash line. I can't stop. We're just gonna start smoking out the lower lash line now and then we're done. 
Um, I think I'm just going to use that same macaroon shade because it's just so pretty on this little BH Cosmetics stubby brush, 103. Cool Leo. To highlight the inner corner, I'm just going to use this little Real Techniques brush. I'm going to use the shade Jack Frost in the palette. It's just like a shimmery white colour. Looks like it's got some like gold reflex to it though. Now I just need a lippy. I think I'm going to try and find like a nice little pink to match. Probably use some of the Kylie ones again. For lips, I'm going to be using the shade Boy Bye. It's a velvet lipstick from her winter collection. Can you imagine if I went out of this? Cute. Okay. Yep. I love the velvets. I love the mattes too, to be fair. I don't find them that drying, but the velvets are so nice because they don't feel like really sticky and like a like a normal lipstick, you know what I mean? But they still feel not matte. I don't know how to explain it, but they're nice. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. We do some of those little things. So, if you like this look, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, um, and comment anything you'd like to see in the future. I really need ideas to get this like channel growing. So yeah, any ideas would be really appreciated, okay? All right, thanks guys, thanks for watching.